Okay, um, I just came here the safe way. And I just got an update with this camera. Is that in the background? There's clouds. Oh, it's not clouds, it's, it's a reflection. Okay, ooh, that's weird. Ooh. Just a reflection on the windshield, it looks like. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just got an update on this camera. With the, when I first bought the camera, the software was up to 1.1.2, the firmware was. And it was giving me a message every time I tried to access the settings for the camera um, that I had to update the, uh, the camera settings, uh, the camera's firmware, in order to unlock the settings. Okay, and then I kept on going into, you know, update, and it would not allow me to do any sort of updates. Until a couple days ago. Now, I know this doesn't look great, um, you know, because I had to, it doesn't look like the exposure or the ISO or anything like that is, um, is helping this really that much. But at least you can kind of see my face you know in this uh in the cab here rather than being pitch pitch black right um so that's the first good news with this cap well second good news with camera first good news was when i was actually able to find out that i could uh, record without using the phone um, however i can't do the settings unless i have the phone on me so that's you know that's what we have going on there um and so, uh, with that, the now I can access the settings. Awesome. I've also found out that, you know, because it says live view, it says it requires a Wi-Fi connection before clicking into the live view on the camera's app when I'm away from home. Well, I don't have a Wi-Fi access here. Um, actually, I do. Um, the Wi-Fi it says there on the camera doesn't have anything to do with like Wi-Fi um, as far as like home Wi-Fi. No, the Wi-Fi it's talking about there with camera is actually the Wi-Fi in the camera itself. The camera's got its own Wi-Fi connection and it broadcasts that connection to any of the devices you know, with Wi-Fi. Uh, nice thing about that camera's Wi-Fi is it gives you a proxy uh, IP address, 192.168 type of, of address, and they say you can access the settings there, except you can't, you can't access it, um, but, you know, because it does require like a, um, it requires a username and a password, and that's not the username and the password for the one that you set up with the camera, so it looks like something that you send over to the company, they can access those settings, you know, if anything happens with the settings. I don't know, it's weird. Um, so yeah, and this dashboard cam, you know, I know it doesn't work that well, it makes everything so blackened out over on my side. Um, and I didn't want to use it too much, uh, you know, because of that. I, I I just did it this third time because I wanted to show the difference of uh, now that I've got brightness, contrast, exposure, and ISO settings available to me to use with for the camera. Um, so that's what this today's vlog is about. It's the improved settings now that uh, now that the software is up to date. So um, I'll go ahead and upload this, and you know, thanks so much for watching. And, yeah, do have a good day. Yeah, it looks like I can't access the settings while it's live recording. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> so, have a good day.